my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve contouring and highlighting without any makeup whatsoever. I know it sounds insane. The reason why I say that this DIY slash technique is semi-permanent is because that this will fade over time which is why you kind of have to repeat this DIY for it to actually work and to maintain it. So this original idea came from this Instagram here. I'm pretty sure she's also a YouTuber so I'll leave all of her details down below. Because I really love the idea of making like highlighting and contouring a little bit more permanent rather than just makeup, I thought I would take this idea and kind of tweak the recipe a little bit and see what happens. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that huge thumbs up just down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. I post two times a week and I also have a vlog channel for those of you who would like to catch up with my daily life, I'll pop it just there in the corner so you guys can check that out. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. The first thing you wanna do is just cleanse your face so that it's nice and clean and free of makeup. As you can see, I'm wearing eye makeup and I've got my eyebrows on, but my skin is completely bare. First thing you want is two separate containers. So I've got two little dishes here where I can kind of mix my two DIYs into. So for the first mixture, what you want is a natural yogurt. This one is from Tesco, you guys can literally use any brand that you like. This naturally reduces fine lines and wrinkles and the lactic acid will help dissolve dead skin and tighten your pores. Next I'm going to take some honey. Now this is again antibacterial. It's great for anti-aging and it's extremely moisturizing and soothing to help create that glow to the skin. And the last ingredient is coconut oil and add this into the mixture. I've got this one that's a spray but you can use whatever coconut form you want. Now coconut oil is of course beneficial for your hair, your skin because it's antibacterial and it's also moisturizing. So what you want to do is just mix all of that together and leave that on the side whilst you create the contour DIY. For this what you're going to need is some coffee. You want it to be like a fine kind of powder. Coffee is great for the skin as it tightens, exfoliates and constricts the blood vessel under the skin and it helps reduce swelling and puffiness. The next ingredient is cocoa powder. This is packed with antioxidants and it helps repair the skin cells. Next to add a bit of body you just want to add a tiny bit of honey as well and this is again antibacterial and it's great for the skin. Now with the last ingredient it's kind of where I tweak the original recipe and I actually add a tiny bit of fake tan. Make sure that this is fake tan for your face. And it's one that you have used before and you haven't had any problems with it. So then you just want to mix all of that together and that is the DIY mask finished. Okay, so now that I've made my DIY contour and highlights, I'm going to take my highlight shade first and I'm going to apply this with a foundation brush. So with this, I'm just going to apply this to the natural areas of my face where I would usually kind of apply highlights slash any brightening products. So underneath my eye, make sure you don't get too close to your eye, of course and kind of like extending it out into my hairline. I'm also gonna apply some to my forehead. I'm gonna apply some down the bridge of my nose as well. my highlight mask I'm gonna go in with the contour mask and just apply this as I usually would with my contour products so with this I'm just gonna apply some to the hollow of my cheek first Okay, so this is what the finished face mask looks like on. Because we have put fake tan in it, I would recommend to kind of blend out any harsh edges so that that doesn't stay on your face in like a harsh kind of line, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna leave this on my face for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off and be right back. So this is the final result. I feel like my skin is so, so radiant. Can you guys see that glow to my face? Like, it's incredible and it's so so nice to the touch as well it's just it feels really plump and just really moisturized i also really love that very subtle definition around the circumference of my face as well as my cheekbones and my nose it really adds to like that natural look without actually having to apply any contour to your face um, in the form of makeup that is all down to the coffee and definitely a lot to the fake tan so that is why i think it definitely works so i'm not saying that this is definitely a replacement for makeup because makeup is so much more powerful but I definitely stand by the fact that it's always good to start with a good base and if your skin is really nicely moisturized and your makeup application is definitely going to go on so much smoother so take this as like a starting point if you will and it's amazing for the days that you don't want to wear makeup but you kind of want to look like you are 
that's all for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did please smash that huge thumbs up just down below i am now gonna go off and wash my hair because i got so much coffee and yogurt in my hair make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe it would really mean a lot to me and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i'll see you very soon in my next one bye Crashing it, hit a wall.